Today's video is going to be quite personal. I will be giving you information why do I love living in Zuri here in Malta. Ta-da! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. It's Alex here. You might feel that my energy in this video is going to be quite calm and tranquil. Simple reason is because I'm doing this video in the village where I live. My personal most beautiful village in Malta, Zuri. And I want you guys to watch this video until the very end because there is going to be quite a lot of information and I don't want you to miss on any of them. And as well, I'm going to show you the beauty of Zuri and everything of this village that has kind of like hidden from the tourists. Let's go. I wanted to show you guys that in Zuri we do have a bank of Valletta just to put this out there, but also I'm doing this video on the 14th of March and it's exactly one year since I moved into my own apartment that I bought here in Zuri. It's been one whole year and there is quite a lot that I understood about this beautiful village, guys. And one of the things is that there are so many beautiful streets such as this at the back that you can see. How picturesque is this? And it's so quiet as well beautiful i love how everything looks like we have the maltese balconies not the balconies the little terraces over here we have the limestone the nice road all the plants that they have on the side the entrance of that uh, house over there beautiful anyway it's a bit quiet let's go out <laughs> wow guys have a look at this i've been here for over one year and it's still 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 impressed me post office we have the police station there. I'm gonna take you now to the main square to see the church. I will also get you a pastizzi. Soon we're gonna sit down and we're gonna talk about many interesting points and very informative things that you need to know if you are planning to come to Malta, if you would like to visit Zuri, if you are a tourist or if someone who would like more of the calm vibe. There is going to be several reasons why Zuri is the place to be. And here it is, guys the parish church of saint catherine i have a dedicated video about zuri which i'm gonna link it down in the description of this video guys because in that video i'm giving you a full breakdown about the feasts in malta because in zuri they have two feasts i'm gonna be very honest with you there is a car accident behind me and there is quite a lot of show happening at the moment while i'm trying to record the video and tell you how beautiful this village of zuri is <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. So there is the traffic there, there is me here, <laughs> there is the accident behind me, and we have the beautiful church. The parish church of St. Catherine of Alexandria. Now we have our pastizzi, and for those that you guys like ASMR, listen to this. Okay, I think it's time for me to finish this pastizzi. I'm gonna sit down on a bench and we're gonna get a bit more serious and give you more information. Okay, so now after you seeing how beautiful Zuri it is, let me tell you what was the reason why did I buy an apartment in this particular area. Simple reason number one, because I wanted to be surrounded with more local people. I wanted to be in a place that it's more preserved, I would say. guys. This was the best decision that I have made in my life. I can proudly say that. I've been exactly living one year here in Zuri and I am the happiest. I'm very calm, I'm very tr tranquil. The vibe that Zuri has, it's very, very quiet. I'm gonna insert it here on the map, guys. Have a look at the position of Zuri. Do you see all the greenery Zuri is surrounded with? There it's, it's not like, for example, the central area of Sliema, St. Julian's, Gzira, Msida. These are all concentrated, connected to one another. And for example, if you are driving from the airport to St. Julian's, you need to pass through Msida, you need to pass through Xira, you need to pass through M to Sliema. And it makes quite a lot of... Wow, sound effects! <laughs> it makes quite a lot of noise and of course traffic as well. Whether, as you might have noticed on the map, Zuri is excluded and there is no any other connection from where, from Zuri, you need to go elsewhere. For example, I'll take simple thing, Safi. Safi, it's a little village which is uh, very close to Zuri. 
So for example, people who are living in Zuri, if they would like to go back to Zuri, they need to go through Safi. So Safi is experiencing the traffic and the people passing by that are living in Zuri and also its own residents who are living in Safi. I'm so sorry, I was speaking for like two whole minutes straight. We are on the way to our car because I want to show you outside the city, outside the village, how it looks like, all the fields and all the greenery. But meanwhile, I had to stop here to show you this. Two beautiful Maltese houses. Look how big they are and both of my favorite colors. One is blue and the other one is red. Look at that. Stunning. So now we are driving on the main road. My favorite when it comes to the palm trees on the side. And I'm driving towards Blue Grotto or with is Zuri. Now, technically on the map, this belongs to Rendi, which is my second favorite village in Malta. However, it is on a walking distance from Zuri, of course. It takes like 15 minutes for you to get down to the Blue Grotto from here, which is amazing. And now you're gonna see it in a minute. The second part of this video about living in Zuri, what I can tell you is, you noticed the previous shot that I showed you, the drive-through? Well, it's one thing when you see it on camera, how it looks like when you're driving through that road, and it's completely another one when you're walking on that road from Zuri towards the Blue Grotto here. About Blue Grotto, I'm gonna skip it in this video, but I'm gonna let you know that down in the description of this video, you're going to find another video which is dedicated to Blue Grotto. Now, from the other side, if you are wondering whether there are restaurants and bars in Zuri, yes, they are. We do have coffee shops, we do have bars, we do have a Casini, which is the local places where the local people are hanging out. We do have a Macedonian restaurant as well called Alexandria. And guess what? I haven't been there yet. Now it's time for us to move on, guys, and just to show you an area with fields and also to take you in with the Fulia, where I'm going to have a very close friend of mine who's going to join me in this video. So guys, uh, driving through Zuri to get to Wifulia, I want you to pay attention on several things. So we are out of the square that I was at the very beginning of the video. And now I'm going through the area where aside of finding the Maltese townhouses and the older buildings, we also have the new buildings such as this one in front of me. Have a look at that. You see, oh wait. Can I go there? Or it's a one way? Let me see. And this is how the Maltese countryside roads look like. With the Maltese stoned fence on the side. <gasps> look at that villa! Wow! No! <laughs> Goals! <gasps> look at the door. Wow! Amazing. God knows how much this cost. For sure it's over a million. Look at that teddy bear up there. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys are enjoying the scenery so far and seeing how the Maltese countryside look like. I love when I walk around this area, guys. It's one of my personal favorite areas to walk. Ah, yes, we are closely approaching also to a watchtower. These watchtowers, guys, back in the days, they were built so that they can give signals all around the island if they see that Malta is being attacked or someone is approaching the shores of the island. So they have quite a lot of them all around Malta, from the south to the north, and they're all connected. So they give signals from one to the other until the entire island is aware that someone is approaching the Maltese shore. Let's continue. I'm getting you down, guys. And now I'm going to show you something extremely beautiful. My personal favorite view and a spot where I would really love to have a villa. So if I can buy the plot that is on the left hand side here, I would build 
a beautiful villa overlooking this view. We are approaching very slowly, guys. I saw the sign and also, what's that? Oh, it's a farm. Imagine a Dana farm with Alex in Malta. Imagine me milking cows. <laughs> that would be exciting. Hey, yes. Let me know, guys, if you would like to see me more of like that. I don't know how is it called agriculture or something like that. For example, for me to go on a farm or to go on a field and harvest potatoes or something like that. I think that would be so much fun. <laughs> Imagine me harvesting potatoes. Hold on. Like this. Okay, so we arrived guys and I know that this video is showing you a little bit of a different image from everything that you have seen on my YouTube videos so far. You've seen more of the concrete jungle areas that I have been showing you such as Liema, St. Julian's, Xira, Msida and now it's time to show you more of the beautiful scenery that Malta has to offer as well. But we guys need to put the effort into going beyond the areas of Sliema, Central, blah, 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 and all of that, and just arrive into areas such as this. Yes, it is true that Malta does not have a lot of greenery all around it, but there are some places that in a driving distance of 15 to 20 minutes, you can come and just relax and, I don't know, have just a peaceful afternoon with your friends, with your family. Speaking of friends and family, why am I holding a tripod is because I'm going to station the tripod somewhere with a nice background. I'll give you further more information and also at the very end of the video you're going to see a very close and dear friend of mine who is behind the camera at the moment. She lives here in Zuri as well and we both are going to give you an overview of what do we like and we don't like living here in Zuri. We have Karina. Oh, thank you so much for being in my nice video to meet you. today. Nice to meet you guys. Karina is coming from Latvia originally, but she was living with her husband, Alexito. Alexito is watching this. Um, you were living in Scotland mm -hmm. and then Malta. Correct. And that's, you're in Zuri. That's because of you. <laughs> <laughs> because of my videos. We live like literally two minutes away from one another. I live in an apartment, but you live in a... House of character. Yes. Oh my God, maybe one day we can do a video of like... Living comparing. in Malta, yes, comparing a house of character versus uh, apartment. apartment. If you guys want something like that, let me know. How is it living in Zuri? Oh, beautiful Zuri. We love Zuri. Guys, more than welcome. It's I beautiful. paid her to say this, yes. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful south part of Malta. So mm. tranquil, so nice. Yeah. So we are sitting now at the very south of um, Zuri. Uh, Viet Fulia, if I'm wow, not mistaken. Oh, good pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, such a fresh air over here. Yeah. So definitely it's worth, you know, to come and discover at the beginning, yes. you know, if you've never been here. How it is for you to live in a Maltese house? This is the first experience <laughs> we have, you know, living in such a beautiful house. Oh my God, amazing. Yes, I love it. Amazing, we love it. If you have a beautiful neighbors as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's easy, <laughs> you know. Easy. Speaking about this living in a house or an apartment, I live in an apartment, okay, it's a higher floor, so I have a really nice spectacular views, I'm happy with it, but my goal in life is always to live in a house, either to be a traditional Maltese townhouse or to be maybe a brand new villa, <laughs> if I'm that rich, so make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share it with me. <laughs> I honestly feel like Maybe one day I'm going to sell my apartment as well. Eventually move in a house, especially these Maltese limestone houses, such as yours, the one you have. By the way, how much mm. do you pay rent? We do pay a month 850. 850 euros? Plus and bills. it's a two bedroom. Yeah. 850 euros in the central part of Malta, you're going to find either a one bedroom <laughs> falling apart apartment yeah. or you might end up finding, okay, even a two-bedroom apartment, but depending also on the area. I believe that nowadays everything is so expensive in the central, so we are quite lucky. I drive, so for me it's easy to get from Zuri anywhere else. Yeah. Uh, what about you? Because you guys are not driving at the moment. Not at the moment, but as soon as possible. I mean, you know, as we work from home, so for, for us it's not essential to drive you know, yeah. from one place to another place. So taxi, Uber, e-cabs. But we have everything in Zuri, so it's on a walking distance. Exactly, yeah. If you stay in Zuri, if you have to go, obviously, St. Julian's or Valletta, of course, you take taking a yeah. taxi, so which costs you 15, well, about 30 euros a day, you know, to go 
two directions to go yeah. there and to uh, get back. And we also so both walk to Safi, to Lidl in Safi, to do the recycling of our <laughs> plastic bottles. Very important. <laughs> Please recycle. This video is sponsored by BCRS Malta. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Karina, thank you so much for being in oh, this video. You. And here we are coming to the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, honestly. You saw the place where I live. You saw one of my closest friends as well. I'm giving you like full on things of my private life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it down below. If you would like to see more about Malta, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is for free. If you guys have anything that you would like me to record, please let me know down in the comment section of this video. And until I see you in my next one, bye.